The Queen will not be present at the Remembrance Day service at the Cenotaph on Sunday or the Royal British Legion Festival of Remembrance at the Royal Albert Hall on Saturday, according to confirmation from Buckingham Palace. Her Majesty will not be attending this weekend's remembrance events in accordance with the advice of physicians to ensure a full recovery from a seasonal chest infection and to protect others from any potential risk, a palace spokesperson stated. The Queen is very disappointed by this, but she will celebrate in private at home and intends to resume her public duties early next week. It is acknowledged that there is no reason for concern and that her condition has not deteriorated. According to reports, the Queen is careful to reduce the possibility of infecting others with any remaining infections. Attending the Remembrance festivities are the King, who is still undergoing cancer treatment, and the Princess of Wales, who is recuperating from the disease. A chest ailment has forced the Queen, who recently finished a massive tour of Australia and Samoa with King Charles, to postpone her next engagements according to a Tuesday announcement from Buckingham Palace. Her Majesty the Queen is currently unwell with a chest infection, for which her doctors have advised a short period of rest, a spokesman for Buckingham Palace stated at the time. Her Majesty regretfully had to cancel her engagements for this week, but she is hopeful that she will recover in time to attend the remembrance events this weekend as usual. She apologizes to everyone who might have been disappointed or inconvenienced as a result. According to reports, the 77-year-old prince is recuperating at home in Wiltshire under medical supervision. Due to Camilla's illness, she was forced to grudgingly miss Thursday's annual Field of Remembrance opening at Westminster Abbey. The 78-year-old Duchess of Gloucester took her place. Additionally, she was compelled to postpone her attendance at a Buckingham Palace reception honoring the country's Olympic and Paralympic athletes on the same day. When Camilla hosts a reception at Clarence House for authors shortlisted for this year's Booker Prize, she is anticipated to resume work as early as next week. She will also be there at the glamorous world premiere of Gladiator 2 on Wednesday night at the Royal Film Performance in Leicester Square, London. The King and Camilla will meet the film's stars, Paul Mescal, Denzel Washington, Connie Nielsen, Pedro Pascal, and director Sir Ridley Scott according to a statement released by Buckingham Palace. Charles is the patron of the film and TV charity, which will celebrate its centennial at the celebration. The celebrations are happening on the eve of Charles's 76th birthday, which is next Thursday. Sir Keir Starmer, the Prime Minister, sent the Queen a social media get well message. I wish Her Majesty the Queen a speedy recovery on behalf of the entire nation, he added. The King and Camilla have completed a demanding 11-day, 30,000-mile round-trip journey, which included some travel on commercial planes. During the nine-day official tour, they were away from the UK for about two weeks. During their return journey from Samoa, they made a stop in India for a luxurious spa break. The King heeded advice to prioritize his cancer recovery by taking times of rest. According to reports, the royal couple spent three days at Bangalore's Holistic Suki Resort, which costs £3,000 per week and is well known for its yoga classes and Ayurvedic treatments. In June, the Queen told author Lee Child that her husband was doing fine but won't slow down and won't do what he's told, demonstrating her recent concern for his health. After receiving a diagnosis of an unidentified type of cancer in February, Charles took a break from his treatment to travel to Australia for the first time in October. Both the Festival of Remembrance at the Royal Albert Hall and the Remembrance Sunday service at the Cenotaph are scheduled to be attended by the King and his daughter-in-law, the Princess of Wales. Following a course of cancer treatment, Kate is gradually returning to public life. Her most recent high-profile appearance was during Trooping the Color in June. While William was in Cape Town for his Earthshot Prize Awards this week, she stayed at home with their children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. However, this weekend's double appearance will be the first time since the beginning of the year that Kate has participated in two days of public official engagements. The Royal Albert Hall will host the annual Royal British Legion Festival of Remembrance tonight. Every year, on the Saturday night of Remembrance Weekend, the event is held. It features personal accounts and musical performances in remembrance of the sacrifices 
made by the British and Commonwealth Armed Personnel, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, the Duke of Kent, Princess Royal, and and her husband Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence, her husband William, and the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh will also be present. In addition to celebrating 25 years since NATO peacekeeping forces were sent to Kosovo and 10 years since British soldiers left Afghanistan, this year's festival will highlight the contributions of the Second World War generation, 80 years after the D-Day landings. As is customary, Kate will observe from the balcony of the neighboring foreign office on Sunday, watching the veterans march past while participating in the two-minute silence. In honor of all those who have given their lives, the public, military families, and thousands of veterans will assemble while proudly donning their medals. The king will lead the country in remembrance of its dead service members by placing a wreath of poppies at the memorial's base. Charles's mother, Queen Elizabeth II, and his grandfather, King George VI, are honored in the design. As is customary for the sovereign, the wreath's poppies are set atop a black leaf arrangement, and its ribbon is adorned with the scarlet, purple, and gold racing colors of the king. The wreaths worn by King George V, King George VI, and Queen Elizabeth II also featured the royal racing colors. As is customary, an equerry from the royal household will put Camilla's poppy wreath, even if she attends the service. It will also echo Queen Elizabeth's Queen Mother wreath and use her grandfather's racing colors, which are brown, red, and yellow. The poppy factory has made the wreaths for Camilla and Charles. William will lay the wreath with the Prince of Wales' feathers that Charles, the former Prince of Wales, laid before him. A fresh Welsh red ribbon is attached to the wreath. The Duchess of Edinburgh will next go to the National Memorial Arboretum in Staffordshire on Monday for an armistice service. Sophie will be asked to read an Armistice Day service reading after the service and will lay a wreath at the memorial. After that, a tour to the Arboretum will round out the day.